Okay, continuing from um, previous video, um, Rupa is saying, uh, but Jesus says God is love and love is not jealous. Okay, so um, we see uh, here in the Old Testament, um, just to confirm what he says, that uh, for thou shalt worship no other God for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, and is a jealous God. All right, so first of all, uh, there can be no contradiction. As Jesus says, the scripture cannot be broken. So there cannot be any error, any contradiction, any mistake whatsoever in the Bible. And if your Bible that you read has an error, throw that Bible out and find a real Bible. And you'll find a real Bible in a King James Bible. Now, uh, this last part says, but Jesus says God is love and love is not jealous. And he's asking the question mark. So... Uh, Jesus says uh, uh, somewhere, oh, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Now, um, to say jealous is not love, uh, I'm not so sure. For love is strong as death, jealousy is cruel as the grave. So I think... Um, you would have to define uh, what God, or I'm sorry, you'd have to define what jealousy means because you could argue that there are uh, various meanings. You could say there's a good jealousy and a bad jealousy for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. All right, so you could, you could uh, certainly argue that it can be good and bad, but you, what you can't argue, in my opinion, is that uh, God is somehow in error to say that uh, he's a jealous God. All right, you can't say that. I, I think it's important to understand and define exactly what jealousy is. All right, so I appreciate that. All right, Share Bear says, I have a question. Where is the Ark of the Covenant now? I'm rereading the Bible from the beginning. I'm at First Kings where Solomon is building the temple and started wondering where the ark is or when it disappeared. Thanks. Okay. So that's a great question. And <clears throat> I'm not so sure I can be, I'm, we'll be able to teach that because I don't know. I don't know. Uh, when it disappeared, <clears throat> I don't even know that. Uh, you know, of course, uh, you're probably familiar with Ron White and his claims of seeing the ark. I, Sorry, I just don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would think that if he saw it, uh, that they would have evidence of it. And uh, I'm just, I'm not saying that Ron's lying about that. He's obviously, obviously uh, uh, he, you know, he was right about, you know, the, the chariot wheels and, uh, and so on. Um. Uh, Whatever, I can't remember right now what, what the other things that he showed us, but uh, there's no evidence that uh, the Ark is where Ron found I don't remember where he said he found it. Then, of course, there's claims that it's in Ethiopia or whatever, and I don't see any evidence of that. And so you have to prove it to me that it's still around. Uh, doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, if you think of the ark as a physical thing, uh, you might miss out on the spiritual aspect of it. And I don't know that I can even go over scripture with you about that. So, but I can say, uh, you know, like in First Kings, where Solomon is building the temple. All right, so they built a physical temple, and then Jesus, uh, he says. When talking about the temple, the Jews' temple, right? Uh, he says he's gonna re he's gonna rebuild a temple. Let's see. Then said the Jews, forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? Because he's talking about destroying the temple and rebuilding it. All right. So you hear a lot of people talk about <clears throat> uh, the third. The Jews are gonna build a third temple and. Uh, others will say, well, that, that when that third temple is built, the Antichrist will come in. And people even point to the Bible and say, like in Daniel, was talking about a third temple, and it's not. 
it's not talking about that at all. I'm, I'm not going to get into all that. But I'm telling you, the temple is already built. If you read something in the Bible that, talk, that suggests that there's going to be a rebuilt temple, well, Jesus already rebuilt it. All right? And this is very clear in the Bible, in the, uh, especially uh, in John. Uh, there shouldn't be any doubts. It drives me nuts. It's as if people don't even read the Bible. So uh, let's sort of confirm that a little bit before I move on here. So, uh, so when Jesus talked about rebuilding the temple, <clears throat> He was talking about his body, which meant that when he was going to die, rebuild the temple, and then resurrect, now we that put our faith in him will uh, take part in this uh, new temple, right? Uh, an everlasting temple, uh, a one where we're transformed into our glorified bodies where we will never die. All right, so... They didn't understand it. I mean, that's, it's so ironic. It, the Jews couldn't understand it because they lacked faith. And now what do we have? Today we have people that don't understand this because they lack faith. All right, so Solomon did build a temple. And, it, and that's a great story. And uh, I love First Kings, right? It's good reading. All right, so I don't want to go too much into that. But I wish I'd... You know what? I'll, I'll give this some more consideration uh, as far as uh, where the ark is, what or what happened, when did it disappear, and all that, I don't want to. I just want to be honest with you and tell you I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see. Linda says the vaccine goes to forehead in the distorted thinking after the jab. Uh, all right. So I, I'm, I'm guessing you well, you stick it in your arm and then the snake venom juices go up through your blood and into your forehead yeah all right okay but that's not what the bible's talking about all right so uh and then of course the vaccine obviously in my opinion is uh, the the serpent's been like this the, the <clears throat> i've said this before but it's like uh, uh satan's last strike on mankind all right, so what are snakes most known for? Uh, they're known for the snake bite, right? And so we read about the serpent in Genesis 3. And, um, you know, uh, let's see. It talks about, uh, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So talking to the snake. So what's going to happen is Jesus is going to come down and and smash the serpent's head with the heel of his foot. So the serpent's final strike upon mankind will be to sink his teeth into the skin of man and to inject his venom. That's what's going on right now. It's his last attempt to destroy mankind. All right, that's that's how I look at it. All right, and I'm not I'm not getting the vaccine. I've never gotten a vaccine, and uh, if I had ever gotten it, I, now would be the time to stop getting it. Really, I mean it's okay. So, uh, like Jesus says, um, he says that they that are whole. Need not a physician, but they that are sick. So if you're not sick, why are you getting a vaccine, a shot? doesn't make any sense to me. All right. And then Edward, God forbid, yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou might be justified. I think there will eventually, this is going to take a while to read, because I read slow. I got 15 seconds. Oh, but he's he's going to say something interesting here, so I better come back and make another video.